Hello and welcome. Just showcasing a plant set up that's set up for doing CND waste. My name's Bert Hart from Equip2. So today we're showcasing the Slayer XL and the Keystrack K5 with the Biftec screen box and the MC1400 um, density separator. So this first unit, so what we'll go in here is CND waste products. So it'll be timber, jib, plastics, whatever comes off a construction waste site. So this unit's gonna be taking it from what is raw form and shredding it down to a sort of like a, a manageable size, 150 to 200 mil. And the first step, it's gonna be taking out any steel. So the steel will be coming off and into a bin and then up the conveyor and then into the hopper of the K5. This is a Keystrack K5 model, a double deck. And then our fines will be coming off the side here, will be a zero to 12. And then the mid fraction will go to our density separator. And then what's not shown here is on the oversized belt, which would be 70 above, is going to a picking station. So that picking station is, is not set up yet, but that'll be getting set up on site. So just going through here, you can see this has got the Binder Co screen box, and it's set up with a 70 mil 3D box and then the bottom deck if you can see a bit closer here we have got the flip flow screen and media underneath so just to show this how this works we'll just climb up on top now so just up on top of the screen box now you can see we've got the heavy duty apron feeder which feeds onto the 3d screen box now these are designed specifically for cnd waste because when you got your material flowing down there's no way like a piece of rebar can actually go down and underneath and jam up. So if it's flowing in this direction, it hits that flat plate and then lifts back up again and carries on down. So an excellent design, quite a lot of investment here, but it's built for the job and to do it right. So the way this works is it's still a circular screen, but you can see this rail here. What that does when the machine's running in circular motion, that bottom rail is moving forward and back. What it does is when you get your screening media, you can see it's quite slacking through there, but it's tensioning it up and then dropping it, slackening off. So it's an, almost impossible to block the bottom deck of one of these Binder & Co screen boxes. As we were saying earlier, this is our mid-fraction size, so 12 mil up to 70, and that's getting taken to our density separator. The reason for this, it's very, very difficult for a human to be able to pick those smaller sizes out. So as we said, the 70 mil above goes to the picking station, where it's a lot easier for the guys to pull that material out. So it comes up here on the main hopper bin. And the way this works, it comes up here and then it drops down into what we call the separator drum. So that's all adjustable and where that needs to do it split. So there's a cyclone sucker that sucks all the light weights and the mid weights will also just duck over the other side. And what it means is the heavy weights will fall onto this side of the belt, cruising up here onto a stockpile. And then our light weights get sucked out and these two hits of this. So he's the first cyclone sucker here and the second one here. So what we'll typically see is stone. Then we'll see timber out the end here. And then out the other side would be our things like um, lightweight plastics and the you know leaves and things like that. So this application is going to go into a CND waste plant, but this type of unit, this here can still be used for compost and bio waste and other applications where you want to separate that light weight from the heavy weights. So trust that helps. We look forward to this plant being set up and we'll have a further video to follow through with it actually in action. Thank you.